and welcome to episode 26 of U Squad Legends Series 4. We are going to play the first game here. It is away against Swindon Town. Fernando da Silva is back. He's fit. He's not injured anymore. Oh, yes. Rejoice. Our second best striker is back on the pitch. Bitch. Come on. Easy, lads. He's Aikens. Why is Aikens playing his striker? Oh, Lang. Believe it or not, that was a ball to Ayola. He might even find it. Yeah, go on, Ayola. Well done. Well done. And it's a corner. Fantastic play. Here we go. Blasi with this corner. Fucking. I've, I've won the header. God. Tracky Bomb Smith won a header. But it was straight at the keeper, unfortunately. Oh, yes. Aikens on the volley. Aikens running on as well. Yes. Right, that little touch by the defenders might have, might have actually helped us here. Oh, head up. Get in. Who has scored that? I think it is Mastriani. I wish the next gen FIFA had the goal scorer's name down at the bottom. It is Mastriani. Just had a glimpse at the back of the shirt. His third goal in League One already. There's Fernando da Silva. Very deep. Well, he's off. Go on, Fernando da Silva. I forgot how quick this lad is. And how strong he is. It's a real boost to have him back. Go, 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 go. Aikens has fed Fernando da Silva. There's Mastriani. Ah, it's too close to the keeper, that. Oh, shit. What a ball. Oh, I'm going to put it into me on net. Oh, my God. For a moment, then, time stood still. I'm not going to let you cross. I am not going to let you cross. Fuck off. Yes. We'll go again. Do not let the motherfucker cross. Oh, what a save, Fernando da Silva. The other Fernando da Silva brings it out of the box and it is half-time there at 1-0 to York City. Right, we've got two injuries here, both bruised shoulders. Are you kidding me? Oh, great consistency, that FIFA. Right, Lang Smith, Lang off. Alauskis comes on. Simmons off for Herma. Right, sorted. Last substitution for me. Porto is on for Blasi, who hasn't really had a good game out on that right-hand side. Fernando da Silva. Just drop it off, lads. Smith. There we go. Reese Roof. Where is he going? You're supposed to be in left back. That was well worked. We still got it here. Ayala. Corto with no marker. You can't do that with Corto about, because what a cross. That has just been pointed to the box. And can you believe it? The man who has scored the goal is Brees Roof, the right back. Shit. It's three on three. More like two on three now. Fiola's done well. Only one minute of added time left. Fiola has made a mistake. Good guarding of the ball though. And that is full time. York City win 2-0. And the best piece of news in that match is that Niall Ranger didn't score. Nathan Lang bruised shoulder five days. No, Simmons bruised shoulder five days. York City against Bristol City. Both teams are high up in the league. Both want the win. It will be difficult. Oh, Tracky Bomb Smith with a towering header. Oh, this guy's onside though. What a save again! Oh, yes. Keeper's on form today. Olauskis against Wagstaff. Well, I've been able to force them wide. And actually, that's not bad defending, to be honest. Looked like a dangerous opportunity. That's exactly why I was commentating. But no, it turned into a half chance. It's very nervy. You can feel that in the air. Both teams don't want to make a mistake, obviously. Because we're in close proximity to these in the table. Half time, nil nil. Like I said before, very nervy, very edgy. Might be just the one goal that settles this. 
Here's Rios. Searching ball for Corto. Oh, he just took it like a pro. Oh! Oh! Corto! No! Oh, he's still going! No! Give over, referee! Oh, my God. Stop being an arsehole. Mind you, that was a foul. <laughs> oh, well done, Corto, though. It's that little bit of magic. It excites everybody. Oh, God. Olauskis there. I know that Tracky Bomb Smith is a uh, centre mid. But I've played him centre back both games, and he has been so solid. He's been piling on the pressure in this second half. Still nothing. Here's another attack. Oh, if Jakovic didn't lose control of the ball. But Ayala gets it back. Ayala finds Azevedo or does he? Yes, he does. Azevedo alone. Oh, he tried to chip it. Ah, Jakovic. Corto. Going for the finesse. Just couldn't find the space. Full time. And all the pressure in the second half did not pay off. I'm very proud with the players. Obviously, Bristol City, huge club, want to get promoted this season. We've just come from League Two. Near the end, as a video, I had a chance to chip the goalkeeper. We were that close to beating Bristol City there. It is November the 1st, so we go for a squad report. Weatherton, Fernando da Silva, overall of 62. Lonre Ayabanjo, overall of 64. Atia Fiola, overall of 63. Gaidrius Alauskis, overall of 69, gone up by 2. No Simmons, overall of 65, gone up by 1. Jose de Menzes, overall of 63, gone up by 1. Nicholas Ayala, overall of 67, gone up by 2. Sander Puri, overall of 69. Kal Jakovic, overall of 63, gone up by 2. Hernan Mastriani, overall of 69, gone up by 1. Jack Aikens, overall of 66, gone up by 3. Yarko Herma, overall of 60. Florencio Corto, overall of 62, gone up by 2. Lucas Jennings, overall of 56, gone up by 2. Mohamed Magoub, overall of 60. Brees Roof, overall of 64. Miles Smith, overall of 63, gone up by 2. Ronald Chavez, overall of 66, gone up by 1. Nathan Lang, overall of 54, gone up by 1. Vincenzo Blasi, overall of 56. Victor Caterino, overall of 57. Kwame Cresswell, overall of 61. Lorenzo Rios, overall of 61, gone up by 1. Alexandre Azevedo, overall of 63, gone up by 2. Pedro Bastos, overall of 60, gone up by 3. Lucas Fernando da Silva, overall of 62. Gary Hobbs, overall of 59, gone up by 1. Michael Fenton, overall of 63, gone up by 1. Harry Coates, overall of 50. And finally, David McGurk, overall of 52, gone down by 2. And the game today, on the 1st of November, is Gillingham against York City. Two wins and a draw would make for a good episode. Fenton with an early shot. Fenton goes wide to Puri. Oh, Puri's pass there was really loose. Oh, that is a shocking pass by Puri. Nearly put us into trouble there. Corner to Gillingham. Right, make sure that we mark everybody at this corner. It's a uh, deep corner anyway. Oh, God damn it. We're finally able to defend a corner. It's gone straight back to Gillingham and they have absolutely buried that shot you might have to blame Demenzes there turning away from the shot if he went full on he might have blocked that Fenton oh look at the space go on Fenton oh it's wide kind of a scuffed shot anyway I, I think the goalkeeper would have caught that charge Oh, wow. How lucky is that? Mastriani's got it, though. Oh, look at the space. Mastriani goal. Get in. Hey, he falls over the keeper as well. York City have equalised. Ah, there's a space here. There's a gap. There's only three men back. 
And his mates, whom are keepers. Yes, good gather. Half time, 1-1. One, one. Scoreline says that it's been quite even and I cannot complain with that. No team deserves to be going into the half losing or winning. Fenton. There's a pass. There's a pass. Oh, the first touch was good, but the cover at centre-back was even better. And Gillingham got away with one there. Mastriani. Very deep. Oh, what a ball he has dug out there. Oh, if only Cresswell could have done something with that. Bastos. Oh, the pass. The pass is actually good. Puri with the first time shot. The keeper's done well to get that out. He does actually feel like Bastos has improved. He is now a 60 and he's actually feeling like a 60 overall defender. Yes. Yes. Oh, who's going to take this? Bit of a mix-up in the defence. Actually, it's worked to their advantage, really. Ah, Cresswell's got it. Cresswell with a shot. On target. Full time. 1-1. One, one. It's another one of them games when we could have won it, but this time, I think the 1-1 one, one draw was a fair result. Gillingham did okay against us. Scouting update by Luke Gardner. There's a potential maximum of 64, 76 and 83. How disappointing is that? We'll finish on this lovely note from the York City board to Domenico Piscopo. On behalf of the board, I want to acknowledge all the positive changes and the dedication we have seen you bring to the club. We know you have had a lot of pressure and speculation from the press. And we want to reassure you that we feel there is no one better to carry forward the York City legacy. So it's very clear, Domenico Piscopo is the right man for the job. The York City board are telling him so. Not only that, they say that there is no one better to carry forward the York City legacy. This has been Cutsy. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.